Now I'm going to show you how to scan a directory to add a system to, re to RetroArch if you're using it by yourself or by itself instead of using a front end. You can see here I have Nintendo. I just scanned one directory um, just to make sure I had it set up and ready to go. So it's really easy. Um, you're going to go online updater. Okay. First thing you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom and turn on demand thumbnail downloads on. That just makes it so that it'll download the the cart art or whatever to make the to make the game look better or make the menu look better. So after you have that turned on, you're just going to go down to import content. Okay, go to scan directory. Navigate to wherever you have your ROMs. And this is will work on Android this is on Windows but it'll work on Android too you just have to learn your file structure because it's going to be different than what you see here so uh, I already did Nintendo I'm gonna do Super Nintendo real quick just to show you okay so you just go to wherever your ROMs are mm. okay apparently I don't have any Super Nintendo ROMs in on this drive. Let me look and see what I've actually got. That way we don't have to do this a whole bunch. I mean, I've got everything in certain places, but that specific. Let's take a look. I thought for sure they were in here. They are. Hmm. They're just not. Okay, so maybe I'm just, maybe I just need to scan the directory anyway. Let's find out. Or maybe that, I mean, they could be a different incorrect uh, file extension. They're not incorrect, but maybe not the file extension that I was looking for. Oh no, they're there. Okay, don't listen to me. It'll say it's empty, but that's just because it hasn't scanned it yet. Go ahead and scan the directory. And based on the games that it finds and the names of the games, it'll automatically, should automatically name the system. You know, it did on Nintendo for me. Almost done. There we go. Okay, so let's go take a look at what we found. I'm just hitting backspace, 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 but if you got your controller, it's going to be B. Okay. You see that it added Super Nintendo over here? Okay. Scanned the whole directory, automatically added my games in. Now, the first time you go to a game, it's going to say no thumbnail available because it's it's got to download that thumbnail. But then after it does the first time, it'll be quick. You can just go right through. Okay pretty simple now if I click one of these it's just should just play it and it'll ask you what core what you want to use okay now I set the core for it for the default core now it'll just play it so from now on when you go to Super Nintendo <laughs> to Super Nintendo in RetroArch and you choose a game, it'll just automatically load up with that core.